There were more than a, a list of names. There are people who loved and were loved. There are people who had families and friends and dreams. And the truth is we don't know much about some of them. We want you to hear their names and a little bit about who they were. Edward Sotomayor, Jr. He worked at a travel agency that catered to the gay community. His family says he was witty, charming, and that he always left things better than he found them. He was 34 years old. Stanley Almodovar III, he was a pharmacy technician. He was the last video that we saw of him was posted on social media that showed him laughing and singing on the way to that nightclub. He was just 23. Luis Omar Ocasio Capo, he was a dancer and a barista. He was just 20 years old. Luis Vielma, he worked at the Harry Potter ride at Universal Orlando. He was just 22. Juan Ramon Guerrero, his cousin said Juan came out to his family just this year and was afraid they might not accept him, but they did, and they embraced his boyfriend as well. He was 22. Christopher Andrew Leonone, known as Drew, he was um, Juan's boyfriend, and his mom says he established the Gay Straight Alliance at his high school. He was 32 years old. Eric Ivan Ortiz Rivera, a friend says he was always willing to help everybody and sacrificed a lot for his family. He was 36. Peter O. Gonzalez Cruz, he worked at a UPS store, memorized apparently all the regular customers' names. He could make anyone smile, his friend said. He was just 22. Kimberly K.J. Morris moved from Hawaii to Florida just a few months ago to help her mother and her grandmother. She was a bouncer at Pulse Nightclub. She was 37. Eddie Justice was an accountant who texted his mother from the club, texted his mother saying, Mommy, I love you. He was 30. Enrique Rios, a friend says he was cool and a funny dude who could tell, tell people, don't let the world hold you back from your dreams. He was 25. Anthony Luis Laureano Dizla, a talented dancer born in Puerto Rico. He was 25. Jonathan Antonio Camui Vega. He worked for Telemundo, first in Puerto Rico and then in Orlando. He was just about to turn 25. Corey James Connell was a student at Valencia Community College and hoped to become a firefighter. He was 21. Mercedes Marisol Flores, her father says she was a happy girl who had so many dreams. She was 26. Dianca Deirdre Drayden, her family called her Didi. She was a bartender at Pulse. She was just 32. Miguel Angel Honorato managed a Mexican restaurant. A colleague says he was an excellent boss and a good friend. He was 30. Jason Benjamin Joseph had a student at Southern Technical College where a faculty member calls him a sweet kid with a bright future. He was 19. Daryl Roman Burt II was a financial aid officer at Kaiser University, he was passionate about volunteer work. He was 29. Jean Carlos Mendez Perez was a perfume salesman. Apparently he hit the gym almost every day and his friend said he was always happy. He was 35. Perez's longtime partner, Luis Daniel Wilson Leon, grew up in a small town in Puerto Rico and was a shoe store manager. He was 37. They died together. Frankie Jimmy de Jesus Velasquez, a professional dancer specializing in a traditional folk dance of his native Puerto Rico, he was 50. Amanda Alviar, she was a nursing student at the University of South Florida, was 25. Martin Benitez Torres, he was a college student in Puerto Rico, visiting family in Orlando, he was 33. Juan Chavez Martinez, his co-workers at a hotel say he was a kind, a loving person, he was just 25. Gerald Arthur Wright worked at Disney World. The co-worker says he was wonderful with the guests. He was always smiling. He was 31. Leroy Valentin Fernandez worked leasing apartments. A co-worker says he sang Adele in the office until they couldn't take it anymore. He was 25. Tevin Eugene Crosby, dedicated, hardworking business owner from Michigan. He was just 25. Brenda Lee Marquez McCool, she had 11 kids, beat cancer twice, and often went dancing at Pulse with her gay son. She supported him that much. She was 49. Her son survived the shooting. Angel L. Candelario Padro recently moved to Orlando. He was new here. He had just started a new job as a technician at the Florida Retina Institute. He was 28. Gilberto Ramon Silva Menendez was studying healthcare management. His family says that he was the light and life of all family gatherings. He was 25. 
Javier Jorge Reyes was a salesman at Gucci. Friends say he was always positive. He was humble, a lovely friend. He was 40. Shane Evan Tomlinson was a gifted singer who performed at weddings and clubs, was 33. Simone Adrian Carrillo Fernandez worked at McDonald's where he brought in birthday cakes for his co-workers and had just gotten back from a trip to Niagara Falls with his partner. He was 31. Oscar Aracena Montero was the Simon's partner. He was 26. They also died together. Rodolfo Ayala Ayala worked at a blood donation center, was a Puerto Rican native, loved to dance. He was 33 years old. Frank Hernandez, he worked at a Calvin Klein store, was a great brother and had love, had no gender tattooed on his arm. He was 27. Xavier Emmanuel Serrano Rosado was a dancer described as hardworking and friendly, pr proud of his son. He was 33. Akira Monet Murray, she recently graduated from high school, was planning to go to Mercyhurst University and play basketball. She was just 18. And Christopher Joseph Sanfeliz worked at a bank, was said to be the most positive guy around, was just 24 year olds. Luis Daniel Conde was a makeup artist, co-owned a salon with his partner. He was 39. Juan P. Rivera Velasquez. He was the uh, partner to Luis. He was 37. Antonio Devon Brown was a captain in the <clears throat> excuse me was a captain in the U.S. Army Reserve and a graduate of Florida A&M. He was 29. Alejandro Barrios Martinez was 21. Joel Rayon Paniagua was 32. Jean Nives Rodriguez was 27. We don't have pictures of these people. Il Marie Rodriguez Sullivan was 24, and Paul Terrell Henry was 41 years old. We think it's important that you hear their names.